ladies and gentlemen kindly consider to like this video i repeat again like this video when you like this video it helps our youtube channel to grow and also it builds a lot of notification to your youtube platform i want to appreciate you so much for the support that you always offer to this channel and it is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find so well wherever you are just 24 hours ago in fact <clears throat> 18 hours ago the deputy president regadi gashagwa apologized for the former first lady mama gina kanyata and this apology people have asked several questions and this is whatever the Gadi Gashagwa actually said. I am sorry, forgive us, Deputy Gashagwa, apologies to Mama Ngina for Miss Ahmad slagging her during election. That is whatever the Gadi Gashagwa came up with. Carry it on by saying the deputy president regarding gashagwa has apologized to the former first lady mama ngina kenyatta for what it termed as bad politics during the 2022 general election speaking from his current resident on monday gashagwa pleaded with kenyans First lady to forgive the political fraternity for mudslagging her during the campaign. I'm still just displaying it on whatever the Shagwa have said for you to understand what is taking place now. Now, the heart of the apology. I am sorry for involving Mamangina Kenyatta in the first in the last general election politics. She is <coughs> our mother, therefore ask for forgiveness on behalf of our team for any inconvenience inconvenience caused to her. I will never allow anyone to demean her on any uh, or anyone from the region kachagwa told kameme tv the former president uru kenyatta is our son we worked together for 17 years and only disagreed for two years and now that's the past i pray for his retirement or is one of us we shall work together or work with him. That is whatever Rikadi Gashagwa made to Mamangina. <laughs> I want to say this. Character is very, very important. The positive character which have been portrayed by the current deputy president in the Republic of Kenya is very essential apology in human life is so much important apology comes when someone have realized you have done a mistake before i carry on with this analysis ladies and gentlemen allow me to appreciate you so much for the support that you are really really offering to this channel because if it was not your support, then this channel could have not reached to where it is as of now. Actually, I want to thank you members. I want to thank new subscribers and continue with the same spirit by sharing this channel to your friends, family and relatives. And as you drop your opinion at the comment section below. What favor also I want you to do for me is that kindly don't forget to like this video because I've realized some of you members they are just watching but they don't like the video like the video and 
give us your opinion at the comment section below. Meanwhile, let's proceed. I've said this apology is a positive move. But what we ought to ask ourselves, is it a genuine apology? And why is Rigali Kashagwa coming out and now apologizing for Mama Ngina Kenyatta? Immediately during swearing in at Kasarani, we saw whatever took place. Rigali Kashagwa stood up in public as a man enough to humiliate the Mamangina family. I think we saw what happened. But our main concern, why is he apologizing? Number one, because the Gashagwa have realized that Mount Kenya are now against him and President Ruto. So he's making this apology. I'm very much aware that Ruto is the one who was sent Gavi Gashagwa to make apology to Mama Ngina. So Ruto's interest is to Liwa Uru Kenyatta tame him by using Rigadi Gashagwa and again is expecting that Uru Kenyatta might come to talk to him in public in order Kenyans to say that indeed Washa Ungana let's support him that is whatever Rigadi Gashagwa is doing Number two, the current deputy president in the Republic of Kenya is isolated and now seeking sympathy from Mount Kenya people and Kenyans as all. So Rigadi Gashagwa is isolated and Ruto also is isolated. So they are seeking this sympathy in order for them to ensure that Kenyans are they are in good terms with Kenyans when it's come to 2027. I normally say politics is always well planned, well drafted for any politician to achieve whatever he wants. That is whatever the Gadiga Chagwa is, is, think, is trying to do. Number three, the Gadiga Chagwa is waking up from his slumber. He have realized that Ruto is now playing his cards. We recall when President Ruto stood in public and said that even his candidate can be a woman. So Rigadi Gashagwa fear and want to seek this advice. Kwanini Ruto anasema ivi? Who is there to help me? So he's going back to the drawing board and trying to seek advice from Uhur Kenyatta, advice from the former first lady because they have been in such tyranny and they know the cards what each and every president normally plays so regarding Gashagwa is having fear and he wants to get more details on Uhuru Kenyatta on Mamangina from Mamangina and from Uhuru Kenyatta and that is why he described them that they have been working together for many years now it is time for them to come up and be reunited Number four, because Gashagwa is seeking, seeking, uh, sorry, seeking for Mount Kenya kingpin. Because Gashagwa realized that he is sinking, but for him to be uplifted up, he must be the Mount Kenya kingpin. And how is he going to be the Mount Kenya kingpin? He must influence Uru Kenyatta, he must influence Mamangina. And Mamangina and Uru Kenyatta, because they're the ones uh, to say, Aundi Wakusema in Central Kenya, must also come out in public and say, Rigadi Gashagwa torture. <laughs> then the fifth one, if Rigadi Gashagwa wants to uh, uh, apologize for Mamangina, it means that he must also come out and say if this apology is genuine. Because it's the one, together with the Nini Nyoro, they are the ones who emulated Uru Kenyatta's farm in Uiru. 
in fact they planned several things and in fact we saw whatever took place so if this apology is genuine he must come and said sisi ndio tulifanyia uhuru kenyata na mama yake hivi tulifanya waibe kao tulifanya wafanye hivi we have apologized for uhuru and we are sorry for you uhuru we will never do that again that political mediocracy which we did to you we should stop it and we condemn it vividly and we condemn it across the country that is whatever regarding Gashagwa should come if this apology is genuine because Kenyans are asking themselves if he is apologizing apologizing he must also come out clearly and say wao ndio walifanya hii ile mambo ya farm real farm because it was very shameful then lastly because the Gachagua have realized that it took Kikuyu to slaughterhouse so he is apologizing and he have realized that Kenya Kwanza people have regrouped themselves and he want to be abandoned as Uhuru did to William Samoe Ruto when we recall 2022 Uhuru did it because of character and I normally say character is very very essential in human life in this world that we live today who could have believed on this move that Gadi Gachagua can come at a lot and make apology in public to his colleagues indeed days are running term is running no one cares about you about you it is now upon you to decide on whatever you want to make in the future ladies and gentlemen it is true that Gachagua have now apologized for Mamangina as Mamangina or Kenyatta's family seems not to listen listen to him no one have reacted they are silent and they are busy with their own things this marks the end of our analysis but before i leave what can you say on this gashagwa's plan to meet mamangenya and uru kenyatta on their apology bye bye as you hope to meet on another political discussion May you have a blessed day.